it's so hard to open up, dog, and be that way, especially in this society. We was taught to hide them feelings. We was taught to, you know what I'm saying, hide how we feel inside to the point where your mind will trick you into thinking you don't even, you don't got no feelings or you heartless or, no, I'm not saying heartless, or, that's just how society made us. Like in the moments, like it took a song for you to cry, it's because you've been hiding that shit all year long. You've been patching up that pain all year long. You've been hiding that shit. And here come Rod Wade telling you like, yeah, nigga, I know how you really feeling. And it's reminding you, it's dawning on you what you really going through. See you in the club bouncing around and pouring liquor and listening to dumbass shit all year long. And you ain't, it's, it's to ignore what you really feeling. That shit is to hide how you really feeling and it help you. That's why some people say, oh, I don't want to hear that right now. Because I know I'm going to bring it up at you. You feel what I'm saying? I know how you, I know what's going on. You feel me? I'm a realist, bro. I, I, I'm connected with life. You know what I'm saying? I go through all my shit head on. But yeah, bro, that's why, you know what I'm saying? That's why they be crying and shit because it's like you've been hiding it all year long. You've been holding it and juggling it. And, and when I come in, you just, it all just come out. I was just watching a nigga last night on YouTube crying. Hey, it's your boy Rod Wade, man. You tuned in to Montreality. I'm still looking, man. Time to find myself. I'm still looking. Uh, I knew, I knew when I was younger though. When I was younger, dog, I thought I wanted to be the biggest dope boy in the world. I thought I wanted to be the biggest robber in the city. I thought I wanted to be the biggest, you know what I'm saying? Until I knew what came with that. Until I found out what came with that. That's why I say in the song on my deluxe when I say, um, "Breaking the houses." When I was younger, I was wild myself. They told me ten at fourteen. I went and found myself. Sitting in the cell, I'm like, oh, this is not what I really want to be doing. You know, this what come with that. And that's when my daddy taught and installed in me, like, consequences, bro. Anything you do, uh, anything you do in this world, bro, come with a consequence. You feel me? So that situation when I was younger, it made me break down consequences in life. Like, if I ain't ready to, for that, what come with that? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's how I learned murder. No, nothing but murder come with murder. You know what I'm saying? You're not finna just... You know what I'm saying? That's how I, I, I learned that in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I, I did to the extent find myself when I was younger, like, because everybody around me, all my role models, my granddaddy, my uncle, my daddy, everybody, they all so dope. They all was in the streets. All my cousins, like most of my cousins was like, you know, that's what they want my best friends, you know what I'm saying, who doing 20, 30 years right now. I thought I wanted to go down that road, but God made me take this path, you know. This shit really just chose me, but I found myself and understood that that ain't what I wanted for myself, you know what I'm saying? All my friends and shit dead in prison. My real childhood friends, they all gone, you know what I'm saying? So I understood that that ain't what I wanted to do with my life. But as far as becoming like a man and a father and wanting to be a husband, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to figure out what I want. Like, But I know I want to be far away and free and raise my kids, you know what I'm saying? I found myself just putting myself in situations that I thought I wanted and and being uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Dale, I love it, Dale. Huh? Man, I'm fucking with Dale so hard, I have to, hold on, let me see. Let's see. Everybody loves the things you do from the way you talk to the way you move. Everybody here is watching you cause you feel like home. You're like a dream come true. Okay, and if by chance you're here alone, can I have this moment before I go? I've been by myself all night long Hoping you're someone I used to know You still look like a movie You still sound like a song 
My God, this reminds me of when we were young. Let me photograph you in this light in case it is the last time that we might be exactly like we were before we realized we were sad of getting old it made us reckless. Oh, I'm so mad I'm getting old. I might have said something wrong. And that's that phone. Though. My daughters, like when they was young, like two, three months, I used to sing that to them all night. Whenever I come home, I just sang it and play it for them. When they was in the store, if I bust out singing that for them, they're going to just stop talking and just look at me like. <laughs> if I bust out and do that for them, they're going to just stop. Whatever they do, and just listen and start clapping and all kind of shit. <laughs> I just love how she could tell her, like, in that kind of genre, they tell their story. Every song got a purpose, you know? And that's why I kind of, like, took that from, like, like telling a story or making them every song meaningful, you feel me? Adele, John Mayer, fucking my boy Ed, Ed Sheeran, you know what I'm saying? Every song, them people got a meaning in every song. The script, you know what I'm saying? Maroon 5, every song, every song, like if you listen to the script, every song, that man gonna be talking about the same thing. Going back to the corner where I first saw you, I'm gonna Camp in my sleeping bag, I'm not gonna move. Every song, he talking about how he feeling, what he going through, everything, you feel me? So, yeah, but Adele, man, Adele, I rock with Adele. Hell yeah, man, I fucking love like this. Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm in love right now, shit. Hell yeah, bitch, I've been falling in love with love, hell yeah, like this. Shit, you know you in love when you happy, shit. Start times out here, bro, you know? And you're happy, bro. You know you're in love, bro. You just feel home, you know? You just know, bro. It ain't nothing really. Like you said, you can't put your no word on it, bitch. It's a feeling. You know when you're in love. You don't want to let go, you know what I'm saying? That, that's not saying just because you're in love don't mean it's right. You know, you could be in love with the wrong shit, but love is love, bro. You know how, you know how I feel. Time. That's so all you can do, my boy. You know, the hell of broken heart, boy, you need time, man. You gotta, gotta travel, see the world, try again. I mean, everybody got their own remedies, but, you know, I feel like time is the only thing that can heal that. No matter how many hoes you try to get over with, or how many niggas you try to get over them with, or what you try to do, it ain't worth it, because only time can heal that, for real. For me, fatherhood changed the way I, I see the world in a, in a bunch of ways. Like, I look at girls different. Like, I look at every girl and be like, damn, that's somebody's daughter. You know what I'm saying? I look at, I look at life different. Like, just watching them without a care in the world, you know, just watching them so happy, you know what I'm saying? Just watching them, like, it just make me want to be more happy and more carefree about what anybody's saying. Or, What's going on? You know what I'm saying? As far as cartoons with them, man, they man, they fuck around here that Coco Melon, man. They gonna go. Zzz, zzz, they hear that, man. They gonna go off the wall. I swear, they like that Coco Melon, man. Yeah, yeah. I be looking at them, wondering, like, do y'all even know, like, how sweet y'all got it? Like, we in this big ten thousand dollar hotel room, and y'all on this, y'all in this big million dollar house. You know what I'm saying? Like, do they, they don't even know what they? You know what I'm saying? So. Type of dad I am, I want them to understand that though. Like, <laughs> like, like, don't take this shit for granted. Like, don't like understand. You know what I'm saying? Shit could be worse. And, you know, but uh, they so young, they so little. I just you know, try to play with them, keep making them smile, keep making them happy, stay happy, stay innocent. You know. But every song is the realest shit I ever could write, and I'm gonna go down that way. You know, for so every song. Sitting in my feelings, reminiscing about the past. 
Can't ever forget you all the time that we had. Young nigga caught the bug, so in love, so attached. I paint the whole sky red. Do you remember that? I'm the one to say today. I'm the one that you would call on. But now you feel away. Feeling I did you all wrong. I won't bring up Wesley Chapel for Christmas. All in Port St. Lucie chasing dreams. Do you remember? I remember the day I knew that you'd be stuck with me, baby. On the road doing shows, I told you, come with me, baby. We ended up in Atlanta, I fell in love with your dancing room 224, second floor in the Hampton, from the bed to the floor, however much you can handle, after this we got to go, I got business to do in Tampa, so deep in love, she the one that I was rolling with, so deep in love, she don't ever want to go home again, hotel to hotel, cause I was on some homeless shit, Uncle D let me catch the couch, cause I needed it, we was so happy poor, but when we got rich, that's when signals got crossed and we got flip, seen it coming. Did you ever see it coming? Then they gonna never just keep running. Uh, Should have kept running. Goodbye, my friend. I'll go the end. And I won't find love again until I find everything we used to be. Oh, see how that's a real picture that I painted, just a real story. Man, Drake, Drake, the, Drake the goddamn goat, man. I'm pretty sure everybody know that, though. You know, I just felt like I was listening to that album real heavy at that time. So I just felt like for me, though, that song and that hook, that was like my letter to the rap game. Like, if you see how I broke it down, I say, I know you don't love me, baby. They try to take you away from me only over my dead. That's the greatest timeless music, bro. Nobody on that. Like he say on that on that one on that one song, he got a dude talking on the end. He say all that other bullshit here today and it's gone tomorrow. You feel? I learned from these niggas, bro. They just don't know it. You know, even though I'm in the rap game, I'm, I was a fan first. You know, I was soaking up game first. You feel me? See, all that real shit, all, the, all that other bullshit that's here today is going tomorrow. That's why I took the route I took. I could make, bro, I could make club songs. I could make bangers and shit that don't make no sense. I could make that shit all day. That'd be even easier. You feel me? But I don't want to do that, bro. I don't want to feed nobody no bullshit, but I can tell you about pounds, I can tell you about trapping, I can tell you about stealing and robbing and killing, and I can do that, bro, but it's just, shit, nah, I don't want to do that, bro. That shit don't last, you know what I'm saying? It's a new trapper rapper every day. It's a new gangster killer murder every, every day, bro. I don't want to be in that lane. I mean, I do feel like I got an old soul because, you know, a lot of people around me that I looked up to uh, Hung around, it was always older than me. The younger people, I just never really rock with them. I hate everything. I like, her. like the way they be talking on the internet, you know what I'm saying? The way they value their relationships and the shit they do, the shit they post and they say, like, this generation, I just be like, bro, I don't like none of these hoes. <laughs> I don't like none of these niggas, bro, for real. Like, whenever they come around me, I just be just disgusted, bro, you know what I'm saying? But some people who feel how I feel, like, okay, then, yeah, but. Yeah, I do got an old soul, I could tell, because I be just irritated as soon as I get around a young, dumb-minded soul. You know, I be just aggravated, irritated, like, like get away from me, you know? Uh, to the, my message to the youth, bro, be yourself. Continue to chase your dreams, but anything is possible, bro. I could have never in a million years imagined, you know, like the, the goals that I set for myself, um, 10 times past them. So shit, you continue to keep going, bro. Just because where you from or your circle of home was, they never seen or, or did what you trying to do, bro, don't mean it's impossible, bro. Because anything, anything is, is possible. That's, that's where I'm at with it. Like, I'm forced to believe anything is possible. There is a higher power. You feel what I'm saying? Everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Just stick to what you stick to what you're gonna do. Don't take no advice. That was the greatest advice I ever took. Sure. Montreality show.
Gonna break this curse of living in poverty for my whole family, I'm taking advantage. Gonna raise my son to be better than me, he gonna be a success instead of a savage. Don't want my shorties to feel how I felt coming up, cause for me every day was a challenge. Like some of that sort, like I just felt that on a personal level. I could listen to it right now and still seeing chills down my spine.